This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. I intend to make my own way in the world. No one makes their own way. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. But you are not married, aren't you? Well, that's because I'm rich. I know you've talked a little bit about how reading Little Women as an adult, you were surprised by how modern it felt. Yeah. And I wondered, I mean, what specifically surprised you? Like, how prescient did it feel? There were specific lines that stood out to me mm -hmm. as feeling like, uh, well, they could have been written yesterday, and I also didn't really remember them from the mm -hmm. book. Um, Marmy's line, I'm angry almost every single day of my life, <laughs> that's from the book. That's, she just says that. And I thought, but Marmy doesn't say that. Marmy's not angry. <laughs> I was like, no, she was. Um, you just read it wrong. And um, Amy saying, I want to be great or nothing, mm. which is kind of a vast statement to make. Uh, uh, and then... You know, her saying the world is hard on ambitious girls. And I thought the world is still hard on ambitious mm -hmm. girls. And and the way these girls are um, so big and dream so big when they're young and then figure out how to honor that as they become adults, That's that feels like something we still go through now. Yeah. And not just women, men too, but, but women. Um, I think especially there's, there's moments where they tamp their dreams down. Mm. Yeah, it's easy to see the house. I mean, they, they all are huddled in the small house and think like their world is so small, mm -hmm. but you know, they're, they're, certainly their dreams are far outside of that. So that's always yeah. been, that's just right. been what it's been growing up, I think. Yes, and it's also this, um, what Marmy, um, mm -hmm. the matriarch does is, she creates this uh, utopia inside mm -hmm. the, the March house that's, um, it's not just feminist, but it's egalitarian. And uh, those women are allowed to be Everything they're allowed mm -hmm. to be brave and 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 scared and bold and spiky and mean and kind and everything and they're not assigned uh, a, a list of qualities based on their gender and I think mm -hmm. that that kind of openness is why Louisa May Alcott's real family there were four geniuses and in this book I think it's a book of um, you know four girls who are wildly talented. Mm -hmm. We can leave right now. I'll sell stories. Joe. And you, you should be an actress and you should have a life on the stage. Just because my dreams are different than yours doesn't mean they're unimportant. I, I wondered if at any point there was a thought to maybe have like a contemporary soundtrack. I, I think everything is everything mm -hmm. in a movie. You're, you're always looking for the same thing. And um, I wanted everything to be completely grounded in the text and in the research. And I did not want things to be anachronistic. However, I wanted it to feel completely lived in and completely modern and I didn't want anything to feel staid or uh, stilted. I wanted it to feel like it was moving at the speed of life. So I wanted the lines said quick as lightning over each other <laughs> as if it was the first time anybody ever thought it. I wanted the um, the girls to be tumbling over each other. I wanted it to be physical and embodied and I, I wanted the costumes to feel like they were clothes not costumes. Mm -hmm. And um, with the music, I, I did tell Alexandre, I said, could you uh, write me a score that's, I'd forgotten I said this until you reminded me. I told him, could you write me a score that's half David Bowie and half Mozart? <laughs> and he said, that is a lot. <laughs> and I, I said, well, I think you can. I mean, you're pretty much mm -hmm. amazing. So, um, and then he wrote me my beautiful score. <laughs> Thank you.